Hello and welcome to Wolfpack News. I'm Eli Widner. And I'm Lucas Brown. This week we'll be spotlighting a teacher in the English and Language Arts Department. Tonight is the next varsity football game. And what are your plans for fall break? We'll find out just in a few minutes. The JROTC Raider team will be competing this week, uh, this weekend on September 22nd here at North Balding. Events they are competing in include crossing a rope bridge, obstacle courses, and a cross-country style run. Be sure to wish them luck. Students, don't forget that homecoming will be the week of October 8th through the 12th. Events include the parade, pep rally, and the homecoming dance to close it out on Saturday the 13th. Spirit days for that week are as follows. Monday is meme day. Tuesday is Class Wars, Wednesday is Twins Day, Thursday is Spirit Day, and to close it out, Friday is 80s Day. And don't forget, if your date is not from North Paulding, you need to turn in your date approval form. The deadline for that is today, so be sure to turn it in. This week, our spotlight shines on literature teacher Miss Bolton. She's an influential teacher to many students and one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Miss Bolton is a fairly new teacher. She's been teaching for three years and all three of them have been here at North. She didn't start her path to a career wanting to be a teacher, but along the way she found her way to her dream job. Well, actually I was working in the television industry right out of college. That's what my degree was in. My sister was a second grade teacher and I did a lot of volunteering in her class. One day I just went there. I, I enjoyed it so much and I was sitting there at the end of the day and I kept thinking, I really don't want to leave, so I actually decided to quit my job and become a teacher. Ms. Bolton really enjoys her career, and it shows by how passionate she is about it. I ask each of my classes every day, hey, how's your day going? They love to share, I love hearing about it, um, and they seem to enjoy it too. They like talking to each other, but um, just having that relationship with them, and it really helps with the actual teaching aspect. And when you finally get that aha moment with your kids, when you've been explaining something and you can tell it finally clicks. That's just awesome. And it, it makes it even better when you have that relationship with them. She knew literature was meant for her from the beginning. It shaped her as a person. When I decided to teach, I said it's got to be English because I grew up reading and writing. I love it. It's a huge part of who I am. I remember my mom taking me to the public library every week. I would check out 10, 12 books and she would sit at home with me and read. And it's just one of my best memories and I've loved it ever since. She may only have a few years under her belt, but she knows her goals. Uh, personally, I would like to become as well versed in all areas of literature as I possibly can. I've taught 9th, 10th, and 12th. I really want to teach 11th American Lit at some point. And I'd love to do a little bit more with curriculum too, so if in the future I can develop some curriculum and come up with some really fun things for students to do, that'd be awesome too. Miss Bolton is an amazing teacher who goes out of her way to make sure her students always get the attention they need. We thank her and all teachers like her for all of the effort that they put in. After a week of losses, North Paulding students will have the break to get back into the game. Coming up tomorrow morning, there will be a Raider meet held here at North Paulding at 9 a.m. and our cross country team will be competing in the county competition at White Oak Park at 7.30 a.m. the week after fall break. Freshman and JV football face off against South Paulding at home and volleyball will celebrate their senior night versus McEachern on October 4th. You can watch the game live on North Paulding YouTube channel. The pack remains undefeated 4-0 when going into tonight's varsity football game here in the Den at 7.30 p.m. The pack will be challenging the Campbell Spartans who have a record of 1-3 this season. The theme for tonight's game is gold out in honor of Childhood Cancer Awareness Month so be sure to come out and show your support. Fall break is next week. We have asked the North Paulding students how will they spend their time off, and here are their plans. What are you planning on doing over fall break? I'm planning to go to New York. Sitting in my house. I plan on creating a hot debate between moths versus butterflies. I'm going to the lake. I think I'm going to go down to the beach, you know, play some rage probably. My SoundCloud, you already know. I plan on going on a big adventure and becoming oh famous. Moths have been treated as the underdog for a very long time. Nothing. Crying. Eating. 
I'm going to my bed. She's definitely going to be doing a lot of Dr. Stanley stuff. Moss? are like 20 bajillion times better than butterflies if you really like compare them. Um, I'm gonna go hang out with some of my East friends. You know, East is beast, you already yeah. know. Um, I'm gonna go be with the East football team at the beach because you already know they dominate in this season, so we gotta celebrate. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to a wedding. Um. <laughs> Today is Mr. Ponder's last day, so make sure to see him before the end of the day. Thanks for watching and have a great fall break.